All right, everyone, here we are with ticker symbol NNDM Nano Dimensions. And before we jump into this chart, I want to say welcome to all my first time viewers and investors. Welcome to the channel. Invest for tomorrow to all my subscribers. Welcome back. And as we jump into this chart and we're going to look at this closely, I do want to announce the website I have just launched this week, investfortomorrow.com. I will put the link down below in the description. There is a small intro video if you have time to go ahead and watch it and read over what's on the website. It tells you a little bit of what the purpose is for this website and where it's going and looking forward. And then also we have our forums here where we'll have weekly and monthly stock picks, daily watch lists, gathering of investors where investors can rendezvous and join and speak with one another about their knowledge and experiences as well as any news or anything they want to share with the community or ask questions to learn. And then for those of you that want to further expand your knowledge in other areas of investing and finance, there will be other forums. This is the first one so far talking about credit and how to manage the intangible as I call it. And there's going to be many more as the website is developed. Now I haven't posted anything. I will start posting in two weeks from now, but for those of you that have joined, I really appreciate it. And I look forward to sharing all the knowledge and information with you guys. And for those of you that have stopped by to look at it, thank you guys as well. This is optional. There are two options. So you got to go to the members option area to select one. And based off of what you see to be what you're looking for or what will work best for you. And you pick one and you'll have access to the website overall, right? Without picking one, you won't have access to any of the forums. This is a members community. It is optional and I want every single investor to be aware of it. I don't want anybody to say, hey, you never mentioned it to me. I just want you guys to be aware and know about it. And if you have a chance, swing on by. The link will be down below so you guys can check it out. I'm really excited. I was asked many times by investors if I had a members community and I created a website and a website where we can all gather learn and grow together and make some money. But let's jump into this chart. So here we are with nano dimensions and NNDM stock has been in a bearish trend. It actually fell below the 50 day moving average. And if it does not bring itself back up, it seems like the bears are probably dominating this at the most because I did state yesterday, this lowest point here and that got broken through. And our next lowest point to look at is down here at 660. I want every single investor to write that down and pay close attention to that number. Now, when you look at this zoomed out, I believe a lot of investors are taking profits and making sure that they're taking those unrealized profits. Because remember, when you have profits in the system, whichever brokerage you're using, if you don't sell, that's all unrealized profit. Whoever was seeing profit up here and they're still holding and it's right here. All of that is profits that were unrealized that were never executed or also now disappeared. Now it doesn't mean that they can't come back or that they disappeared forever. You know, it depends on the volatility of the market and the stock itself. Where is it going to go? But unrealized profits is not the same as realized. Realized is the fact that you executed and you took those profits. There's a lot of times too that happens to all of us investors. I'm, I can even, you know, say for myself, it's happened to me before that I sit there and wait for my unrealized profits to look nice. And sometimes a little bit, just a little bit, an inch of greed to wait for that extra few dollars or so can cost you almost all of your unrealized profits or all of it and end up right back at square one or even negative $10, right? So now you went from unrealized profits. And if you don't execute and sell, you're in the position of unrealized losses, but they're going to become a reality because if you continue to hold, you might fall even deeper unless you're a true believer and you're going to wait for those losses to come back and you break even, or you break out in a very positive manner because you waited through and you had patience, but talking about the overall op, you know, opportunities where we have to take unrealized profits and we don't, that's what sometimes 
holds us back from being much more profitable than we could have been, right? But that's what it's looking like here. People are taking their unrealized profits and turning them into profits, cashing them out. And the uncertainty, because this is the highest that the stock has been since way back over here at the beginning of the year, right? The beginning of the year, all the way towards February. We have not seen such a thing since. So this is the highest that Nano has been. I mean, it's typical that somebody's going to say, you know what? Let me play it safe and take something with me now or get out and watch this and then see where I want to re-enter. There's no real like fear, but there is uncertainty because this is the highest that we've seen it in the last couple of months and almost within the last year. And that uncertainty makes it seem like, okay, this is the peak almost. Let's see what's going to happen. So that's probably what's happening. And that's why we need to watch this closely. I'm not saying that this can't bring itself back up and hit that eight, ten dollar mark that a lot of people are talking about and aiming towards seeing, but it's very important also to watch this and know that maybe it won't hit that right away or it is, but the volatility is showing us that we're in bearish territory and the bulls have some work to do. So let's look at this closely. This is a pretty broad stretch here. I want you guys to be aware of it. It's because of the fact that the volatility was that big today. It actually was up this high. It was above the resistance and it fell down pretty hard below the 50 day moving average within the last couple hours of the day. The 50 day moving average is 729. 729 needs to be broken through to get back into bullish territory so that the bulls can start gaining leverage and start to work their way up. Obviously, they need to break through the 50 day moving average. And then they need to break the resistance to pull away from it and reach new resistance levels and newer highs. Now, it almost reached that $8 mark and missed it by a few cents. It hit $7.97 and it dropped pretty quickly after that. Um, that right there is pretty significant. And I think that's the most important resistance level right now for the bulls to break through. Now, we're in bearish territory and this is our support. $6.90. And the next one is down here at 660. So we kind of have to dissect this and break it down. Why? Because if it breaks through support, we're getting deeper into bearish territory, but the bulls do have a chance. But you want to watch the behavior of how quickly is it moving to newer lows. If it breaks through this support and are the bulls trying to reappear or do they reappear before getting to 690 and bring themselves up? And that's where you start seeing that tug of war effect. And we need to see who's starting to dominate. Right now, the bears have leverage. And I want to emphasize, if this breaks through 690, the bears are dominating already. And they're going to be dominating even more. So it's making it much harder for the bulls to reappear and gain leverage. So I want every single investor to be aware of this. 690, pay very close attention to the behavior of the stock and how quickly is it moving to newer lows and where are the bulls trying to reappear within that situation now on the other hand we have our resistance this is a pretty broad stretch this is pretty far out the first resistance level per se is the 50 day moving average and after that the bulls just need to pull away from it as much as they can but truly and ideally they need to break through 786 to reach newer highs and new resistance levels. They need to break through 786, turn that into a support, and pull away in an upward direction to get further and further up into bullish territory, reaching newer highs and new resistance levels to pull further away from the 50 day moving average. So I want every single investor to be aware of that. Right now, the bulls need to break through the 50 day moving average and then start to work their way up to newer highs. But this resistance level, and I want to emphasize this, needs to be broken through for the bulls to continue the momentum. That's really important right now, and that's the highest point before this fall. We're going to have to watch this closely, watch closely the support. The next support level, 660, 
to see who is dominating this chart. As always, if you found this video helpful and informative, please do so and subscribe. Don't forget to click on the bell to turn on all notifications and not miss a single video that I post. Share this with your friends and community. And don't forget to hit the like button to let me know you watch this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.